Studying at the Conservatoire was vital to me becoming a professional singer. It was there that I learned so many of the skills that I now rely on as a professional performer. And even more so, it was a fantastic chance to meet some of the most influential people in, in, f for me as a performer. Um, some of Scotland's finest folk singers and musicians um, I was able to learn from whilst there and they continued to be a big inspiration to me. But I think because it's such a, a varied degree there's a lot of different modules that you can choose to take such as songwriting, business studies, um, composition and arranging. Um, you also learn about the history of Scottish music which was, was very 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 useful, something I didn't really know much about at all before I started, so it really gives you a, a, a well-rounded education and uh, the tuition second to none. You've got some of the, the best tutors um, best tutors in Scotland, if not the world, at the Conservatoire and I just absolutely loved my tutors. My singing tutors, Gardena McCulloch and Rod Patterson, taught me, taught me a great deal. Since graduating from the Conservatoire, there's been many highlights of I've been lucky enough to perform with some of Scotland's finest ensembles, RSNO, the BBC Scottish Symphony Orchestra, Scottish Ensemble, uh, to perform at Proms in the Park and with Catherine Jenkins. It's, it's really been amazing and um, yeah, it's been an exciting time. I've had many highlights so far. Um, my debut album, Between River and Railway, was released at the beginning of this year, which was a real achievement for me that's always been my ambition to have a solo album and um, I was I felt like I, I had the, the tools to be able to, to do that on my own so that was uh, at the beginning of, of April and um, I was able to perform with the BBC Scottish Symphony Orchestra which is such a privilege and something that not many singers are able, to, are able to say and it, just to get the opportunity was unbelievable so I performed with them twice um, once at the Proms in the Park in Glasgow and once at BBC Music Day at which I also sang alongside Lulu and Jamie Cullum and Deacon Blue which was absolutely amazing I don't know how I'm going to manage to top that for the rest of my career but that was definitely a highlight. Shortly after studying at the Conservatoire I applied to be part of the BBC Young Traditional Musician of the Year competition and uh, in 2014 I won that competition and um, that's been one of the major highlights of my career so far and um, it's, it's brought with it so many uh, wonderful opportunities. I won the BBC Radio Scotland Young Traditional Musician of the Year in 2015 so that was one year after, after Robin and um, it's it's just been an amazing experience and it's given me such great opportunities. It's really propelled my career. While I was at the Conservatoire, I was really lucky to have been able to travel uh, as part of an, an Erasmus exchange programme, um, travel to Limerick to study at the Irish World Academy. And there I was able to develop a lot of the, the skills in traditional music and uh, that, that exchange programme through the conservatoire allow me to really broaden the skills that I have and um, I think that the partnerships that the conservatoire has with institutions abroad is something that's really important and has been of great benefit to me uh, throughout my education. I got to go and perform once in, in Brussels at the for the members of the Scottish Parliament for St, um, for St Andrew's Day in November. That was amazing. And also I got to, to go for a week to the Conservatoire in Rostov-on-Don in Russia with some musicians. So I was just yeah really privileged to, to be invited to go across there and perform and work with the students over there. Living in Glasgow, I grew to love the city. I started to feel very much at home there. I'm from Stranraer, so a, a small town and living in a, a big city was, was a big change. But there's so much to do musically and otherwise in Glasgow and it's got a fantastic charm that I, I really uh, grew to love in my four years studying there. I loved living in Glasgow. I still do live in Glasgow and I think it's an amazing, exciting city to, to live in. I think... Um, Musically, there's so much going on, so many different genres and a lot of interesting people to mix with. It's a great mixing pot for, for music and creativity. Um, Scottish music, there's a lot of amazing f folk musicians based in Glasgow, so there's so many great sessions every night of the week. So it's a great place to be.